An IP camera can be used with LAN cable connected to the router or via Wi-Fi. The router is the connection to the internet. Every signal to a PC outside your home network or to a smartphone has to go through the router first. But let's go a little deeper. An IP camera identifies itself with its IP address. With this address, she will dock at a certain internal port at the router. You can imagine a port to be like a door. To leave the network, the signal must be routed to a fixed leaving port or external port. Behind these ports, there's the internet. In between, there's the firewall. The router itself identifies himself in the internet with its WAN IP. If you want to connect with your camera via smartphone, the signal has to cross the internet and go through the router to the camera. Sadly, the WAN IP is not fixed. It changes continuously. Therefore, we have a DDNS server who will give a fixed name to the router, the DDNS address. With this fixed address, you can always connect to the router. The last thing to do is to set up a port forwarding rule in the router menu to allow the signal to cross the firewall. Now the signal can access and leave the network. If the camera is connected via Wi-Fi, the network key has to be deposited in the camera's web UI. The last obstacle is the username and the personal password. Now, have fun with your IP camera, your Insta-team.